One thing we probably have in common is that we all want to make a difference with our lives. A word that you hear a lot these days, especially with the rise of social media, is the word influencer. And I think all of us on some level want to live that kind of life. And the question is, how do we do that? I'm standing on the roof of the church where I'm a pastor. This is kind of a special place for me. More than 20 years ago, when I was an intern at this church, I remember climbing up here early in the morning and just looking over the city and praying that God would use me in some way to make a difference, but I had no idea how. And the truth is, we're drowning in content that tries to tell us how. Over the years, I've read books and attended conferences and listened to podcasts, and I've tried to learn the best practices of those we might call influencers, and it's been helpful, but the longer I follow Jesus, the more I realize the Jesus way of changing the world is different. I and mean, he never went to college. He was never voted into office. He never had a position that would have looked good on a resume. He didn't have thousands of friends on Facebook or Instagram. He wasn't TikTok famous. He didn't have a YouTube channel. Pretty sure he never even started a podcast. So how did he do it? And as I read through the Gospels with this in mind, it just seemed clear to me Jesus changed the world one at a time. One conversation at a time, one interruption at a time, one meal at a time, one need at a time, but always one person at a time. And understanding that really changed my life. Like it changed my definition of influence. It changed my measurement of success. It changed the legacy I wanna leave. It became the reason I get out of bed in the morning. And so my prayer is that together as we study the life of Jesus, we will learn that each of us today will have an opportunity to live a one at a time life. It is the Jesus way of changing the world.